Art of Noise Supremo, Anne Dudley, and Jazz Coleman, Killing Jokes founder member, are an unlikely couple to see on the streets of Cairo. They came here to record an album called Songs from the Victorious City, Victoria City being the literal translation of Cairo. Jazz, part Indian, part Persian, feels that Cairo is the center of Arabic music. The album is, it's a, uh, it is music about my experiences, or some of my impressions here. Um, and um, during that time, I suppose I acquired a love of, um, of Egyptian music. Uh, and it, it's really not a conceptual album because it really is um, the, mu the music is inspired by, for me, direct experiences. There are many prophecies. They are the fire, fire. The people are like volcanoes. Cairo is, is, is a magical place. Um, th there's all sorts of dreams that are connected with this place, even now, even now in the 90s. Uh, people are looking for the Hall of Records. The archaeologists are still hunting for the Hall of Records, which supposedly would shed light at, on, uh, as to the origins of the hum human species. And, and uh, the legends in this place and the atmosphere of the place is, is just... It's just overwhelming. We've got the cellos going. Boom. 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 A mutual love of classical music drew Dudley and Coleman together on this project. He's a classically trained violinist, and she spent three years studying at the Royal College of Music. When Jazz suggested to me to do something with Arab music, I thought, well, yes, because here we could use the quarter tones, we can use different sounds. We can search for something which is innovative. Because with Art of Noise, when we first started, we wanted to be innovative. And we were innovative. We started sampling sounds and using industrial sounds as part of the music. But as the years have progressed, these things have almost become corny. They're part and parcel of every pop song now. So it seemed time to move on to something else. musical travelling hasn't got in the way of Coleman's work with Killing Joke, with whom he's currently recording an eighth album. What surprises me in our relationship is that I tend to be the technical one, um, because I don't consider myself to be terribly technical. I'm a bit of a muso, you know. But um, jazz is even less technical than I am, <laughs> so I tend to be the one who takes care of the programming and the kind of ins and outs of actually getting stuff on tape and he has a tremendous number of ideas which is great it's very good to work with him normally surrounded by synthesizers and computers Dudley and Coleman chose on this project to work with real flesh and blood musicians in their Cairo studio. And Dudley enjoyed the experience. Well, it's reinforced my opinion that music is the only universal language because although uh, many of the violinists don't speak English, just speak Arabic, we're talking the same language when we're looking at crotchets and minims. But having said that, the way that they actually play it is something else again. So although we have this common language, we we're also finding a different way of interpreting things that you things that one's written. Come on, you can dance with me.
culture and art is there for everybody to share. That is to say, you don't have to be Egyptian to enjoy Egyptian music. You don't have to be um, West Indian to enjoy Caribbean music, and so forth and so forth. It's there for it's whatever you identify with spiritually. That I think is good. It's good to to go there and absorb the atmosphere and enjoy it. And I think this should be encouraged. I mean, the explosion in in world music that's happening now. I mean, um, I consider the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s as a time of subculture. But the 90s is a time of culture. Ha, 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 ha.